today I'm gonna show you how to create upper control limit and lower control limit control chart um, usually uh, this UCL and LCL control chart is used in or the control chart in general is used in um, statistical process control um, kind of like in a quality control areas in production uh, etc um, here I have um, date uh, values um, 18 date values and records or uh, measurements however you want to say it um, I have um, 18 uh, records too um, in order for me to um, create a statistical process control chart with upper control limit and lower control limit um, I'll have to first uh, find out mean and um, standard deviation of these records uh, for that what I'll do is I'll type in mean and then um, equals to uh, for mean I'll type in average uh, or a v e r a g average open braces um, and I'll highlight all of these and then I'll close close braces enter here's my mean value over here so what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this mean value uh, to the table or I'll just go ahead and type it in 18.875 and then if you double click this it will automatically auto populate the whole table now the uh, second part is to calculate the upper control limit um, the upper control limit formula is uh, mean plus three standard deviation so UCL is going to be equals to uh, <clears throat> mean value uh, which is this and then plus uh, 3 times 3 multiplied by standard deviation uh, sample which is s instead of population since we have only 18 um, um, records and standard deviation will be will highlight all of these values uh, records and then close braces and then enter and here's my standard deviation or <clears throat> UCL value so what I'm gonna do is I'll type in this value here 23.506.4145 same thing like previously I'll double click it and it auto fills it now the third part is to calculate LCL lower control limit uh, the formula for LCL is LCL is a mean minus 3 standard deviation equals to our mean is here minus 3 multiplied by standard uh, uh, sample standard deviation of these values and then close braces again enter here is my LCL value I'll go ahead and type in my LCL value 14.24 and double click this to autofill it so now we have all the required uh, data I'm gonna just make a nice table here Now, what I'm going to do is um, 
select all three of these values and then insert a chart here I'll choose line chart and There is a mean. Uh, what I'm gonna do is delete this. I actually will have to select all four of these values and then choose the chart. And here you go. Uh, this is the chart that we're looking for. I'll delete these. I'll put short title as UCL and LCL control chart. Um, in order to put the label, I'll click in the last value and then right click it, add data label, and I'll type in. I'll delete this, type in UCL, I'll go ahead and move this a little bit here, and then for this one, same thing, I'll right click it, add data label, Type in LCL. There we go. Now I'll do this again, and this is our mean value. Data label. Mean and this is our record. Record. So we have all the lines labeled and this is our upper control and low upper control limit and lower control limit control chart. If you like my video, uh, like, share, and subscribe.